welcome to another video in our presentation PhD series. These are advanced presentation tips brought to you by teachupresentation.com. Today we're going to talk about cutting the words. Now that may not seem like an advanced tip, but it is. I'm not only going to encourage you to cut the words that you use on your slides, but I'm going to explain why. The reason we want to use fewer words on slides is because your audience can't read while you talk. So when you pull up that bullet list of 15 bullet points with extensive data and you're trying to read through and explain it, people are all reading at different rates. And as they read, they can't hear you. And they're all over the place. While you're trying to explain number one, they may be reading number three and then somebody has a question about number two and the rest of them are reading number four. It gets jumbled up, the impact of what you have to say is lost, and the material you're trying to get across is lost. Here's a typical corporate slide I see very often. Actions needed to improve fourth quarter results. And we have these items here and when this slide comes up your audience has virtually no choice but to start reading. I mean, you wouldn't put all this text up there in front of them if you didn't want them to read it. So as soon as it comes up, they're all going to start reading. And while you're trying to explain number one, they're reading number two and three and four, and some are making judgments about tuning the advertising. Yeah, we don't have an advertising budget. You know, they're making, they're making other inferences and decisions about these items other than even what they say here and while you're trying to explain things they're reading and and passing judgment and not getting what you're saying so so what do you do you have this material that needs to be covered you want to get these points across you need to explain them how how do you do that without having the words on the slide well you do it like this and what I've done is I've taken away all those bullet items. Now I have the same number of items here, but I've, I've taken those lengthy bullet items and reduced them to a set of keywords. Same number of items. There were only four bullet items on the previous slide, and I have four key phrases here covering the same items. But by getting rid of all those words, it gives me room to put an image in there, which makes the slide visually more appealing. It also gives me control of the presentation in that I can talk to customer service, I can talk about add-on items, I can talk about the advertising and the corporate website, I can talk to each one of these items comfortably, and I can speed up if I see that the audience is getting it and everybody's in agreement, I see heads nodding, I can move quickly through this, or say in the tuning of advertising, if I need to explain that, I see some confused looks or some arms folded because people are thinking, yeah, tune the advertising. We don't even have an advertising budget. We can talk about it. I can slow down and elaborate on an item because I'm not locked into the words that are on the bullet list. So it gives me a lot more flexibility in what I get into in the pace and it also makes it easier for me to talk to because I don't have those words that I have to read and that's where people get into trouble they start reading all the words and they trip on something and pretty soon they fumble they lose their place they get nervous and then they can't remember if they're on number two or number three somebody asks a question and that and the thing kind of gets away from them whereas when you have it reduced to the key phrases, you can address what needs to be addressed, you can elaborate as necessary, you can speed up if you need to speed up because you can tell that they're getting it and keep it moving, plus you get a visually more appealing slide. So by reducing the words, you're actually able to cover more material. I'd like your thoughts on the subject. Drop me a note and let me know what you think. I hope you appreciate this tip and enjoyed it. I look forward to hearing from you, and I'll see you next time.